We have several breaking stories as we come on the air. First, two people shot tonight. One of the victims is under the age of 18. That's right. This happened near TQL Stadium, and that's where we find reporter Jake Ryle right now. Jake, what can you tell us? Well, we know that someone younger than 18 was shot just less than a block away from TQL Stadium is expected to survive. In fact, police just left the scene about five or so minutes ago, took down the tape. So we want to show you the scene, what it was just a few minutes ago. This happened at 930 p.m. in the 500 block of Derek Turnbow Avenue. The juvenile victim was shot and taken to Cincinnati Children's with non life threatening injuries. Now this scene spanned further than this block. Police had roped off much of John Street bordering TQL Stadium. Police sent media members in the same release that a man was taken by private vehicle to UC Medical Center with a gunshot wound. At this point in time, they cannot connect the two uh, shooting scenes or shooting incidents, if you will, but it is something that they're going to be looking into. D1 investigators are on the scene and they have been on the scene collecting evidence and they'll be looking at the statements that are going to be provided by uh, both the victims as well as possible witnesses from this incident. We will provide more information for you as soon as we get it on WC. CPO.com. For now, reporting live in the West End, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. Jake, thanks so much. It is the second time this week a child in Cincinnati has been shot. As we've reported, an 11 year old was hit by a stray bullet inside his apartment Tuesday while playing a video game in the villages at Roll Hill. Police put a tourniquet on his leg after he was wounded. He will recover. No arrests have been made in that case.